Hey, what's up, guys? So this is Kofi. This is my channel. Um, you know, I'm usually doing POV, but today I wanted to be on camera so I can just show some you know, flights and me just discussing how I fly my Mini 2. I've not really had that many flights with it, but I do just watch a bunch of other videos, learning moves so that I can apply it. So I am gonna just put it into action and fly. Sorry, the my using my watch is my mic. I'm gonna fly the drone around and just show my thought process and the moves that I, that I do. So today I'm out here in um, Forest Hills Park. This is the East Cleveland side. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna go to the Cleveland Heights side. It's very weird, but you'll, you'll see in video what I mean. So what I have with me is my DJI Mini 2 drone. And what I would be doing is flying with my ND filters. So you can see them right here. And I've gotten a bunch of free while in the sky. We, my last video, the, one of the slingshots, I did crash it and I lost my MD-16, so those were free will and you know how much they cost, so I decided to go with um, Skyree and I got a Skyree 32 and a Skyree um, 16 to replace that one, so like, today it's a nice sunny day and I'm just going to stick with my... Uh, I'm gonna go with the Skyree 16 since I am looking down. I do worry that um, the 16 may not be good enough. So what I would do is take, um, you know, you put the filter on the drone, and then when you turn it on, you just use it to have a look and see how you know what it exposes to while you're down before you fly. And that gives you an idea because I don't want the sky to be overblown but what more, what's more importantly is I'm flying a drone so I'm looking downwards. So you do want the action when you look downwards to be exposed properly. Um, I'm also going to be flying at um, 4K 24 frames per second and you can't get 48, the shutter speed can't be 48 on this drone so the closest I can get is 50. I'm using my Osmo Action right now and that's going to be the same thing. Funny enough, the Osmo Action also has an ND16 on it and I'm flying with um, just the standard profile so it matches my drone and I don't have to worry about post-processing and lots and all that. So I'm going to get this out, put this together and get rolling. So. In my last flight too, I should mention that I when I crashed I also, um, all my landing, like the landing, like the feet, all just popped off and I just decided right then that I'm not going to bother with any of that, I'm just going to fly without all that. Like, the less things I have to worry about, um, yeah, the more, like, it popped out and the top piece um, came off, I clipped it back in, my gimbal was safe, and, you know, I can't fault DJI, DJI for giving me something that works effortlessly. Alright, so put that there. And I'm gonna stick my camera in here. My sorry, <laughs> my phone in here. And always remember to you know charge your phone up to something like um at least 80 percent you never know what's going to happen so I have it charged up and ready to go all right so put that on i'm going to close all my apps i don't want anything bad to happen the recording yes it is and then as i said i have a 16 um, right now and I'm gonna keep that 16 I'm, I have an 8 right now so I'm gonna take that off and put a 16 on hope you all know how to take the filters off it's basically start from the bottom and unclip it and with the Skyree and the Freewell I use both of them for my um, Osmo Action 2 and just the Osmo Action like T or <laughs> um, and I can't afford them, they both pretty much look alike. But like if Freewell or Skyree do you want me to review them, they can send it over to me. And you know, I'll put a good review in. Okay, so let me put these in. I'm 
that's it. You can see right there, put it in, and it just goes in place. Nothing really clicks, you just know it's fed in. Fed in. That's it. Alright, get the drone in place. This battery lasts for so long that I'm so happy how they took care of that. Um, so I do have my Mini 3 coming in hopefully tomorrow. And I don't know. I don't know when I have a video for that. I only have one battery. You basically can't get anything for it right now. So I'm not worrying myself too much about having any of that available. Okay, let me turn the controller on first, so hold it, turn, put that on, and can we get the drone on too? Alrighty, so I've got the drone up and now I'm gonna get a fly. Right, so go forward so I can see it. Turn around so I can see myself. See me down here. I got the Osmo action right for me. So it's a pretty windy day. This is a this is class GS space. So I'm controlled and I can basically fly up to 400 feet without having to get authorization. So we look up at the skies. You can see it's gonna be over there. I'm gonna set the shutter speed to match 50. Cloud balance was 5700 on the Osmo. So we have it set, going up to 100 feet, yeah. and grab a bit more, 150, but you should be good enough. And this is the pot, just look down and let me go up to 140, so I can show you, let me go up to 400. Put into sport mode. Sky looks clear, nothing to launch. So I limited it from going to up too much, so it might hit a little Maximum bit. flight altitude reached. Yeah, you hear it. And I always prefer not to go up that high just in case. And this is the part. See it? I'll switch the scene mode so you can see it. Around. Parking lot. Space right here. Okay, so I'm gonna lower the drone down. I'm just going to go over some of my favorite moves for flying. So it will come down a bit. Right. You can see already 180%, um, 80% for the drone. And yeah, 
that was about to happen. Um, so I'm not I'm not a technical person, although I do videos. I never remember the names of things. Let's see if I can see the drone. Can get down a bit. Oh yep, yeah, there it is. Always try and keep line of sight. <laughs> Gives you peace of mind when you're trying to find your drone and also that you don't find the same thing. So I can have a visual observer if possible, but I can have one right now, so gotta be cool. Alright, so we're gonna start, we're gonna have this make sure you're high enough so we don't hit the lights. I'm gonna have this. Nope, and there are people there. And I don't have people there. So when you are recording, sometimes when you just. My favorite shot is to. See that? Like that dolly movement, when you just move into the side, getting it slow. And most of my videos are flown in. Um, semi mode. I've never flown in sports. I use sports to get to location back and forth, um, but it's between semi and sometimes normal. If I'm trying to do an action shot, which is close, which is like you know close to an object I'm trying to track, you know, um, so you know, there's no tracking on the Mini Two, so all of this is you actively tracking with the drone. Okay. So we want to get that sideways one. Just look how beautiful it is, the, the clouds are just giving that effect. And then the next shot you want to get. And there are names for all these moves, but I don't know it, and if I do, I've forgotten it. Is the. It's the review. So. Review. <laughs> right, so we're flying and then we slowly tilt the camera down. You can go fast, you can go slow, depending on the type of you know dramatic effect you want to give. And if you had an object there, that's when you focus on it and you get the shot. The other shots you can have is the reveal. And this point might have you know, side towards the green, I know where it is. Forward. We're going over the water. And just slowly tracking it. And then later we're going to make this little island our uh, uh, our subject. I'm very paranoid about flying over water, so I do not go too long. So, as you can see right here, this is the separation between East Cleveland and Cleveland. Altitude zone reached. Higher. 
backwards and that's another one that's also a reveal where you fly backwards and you basically show everything that's in the ship that's in the sea another one is the plan your plane and your with the orbit so so basically you orbit in the subject and so you're gonna say there's this little island over here you get that orbit these shots can be really a bit boring if you overdo it so you don't wanna do it for too long uh, making sure I'm not flying over cars I'm still in there uh, so this where the map helps you can see where you're flying over and just avoid any issues I would like to keep my license Next day, we're really flying and making money from this. Okay, you can see this shot right here. So, we can start with that reveal again. Right, we're just flying forward, and then we start flying up and turn the camera up slowly. And this is a normal mode. That shows is creeping. Now, when I'm flying, I try to avoid any harsh movements, and that's why I go into silly mode. And when I am moving, you're basically using both sticks to make it nice and smooth. And sometimes, if you want to get fancy, you use the camera at the same time. So, so looking up. He's going down here. Gonna come back. Making sure I can see the drone. As someone who's flown a PV, it blows my mind how I've got full bars on my RC. There are trees everywhere and not a problem. Of course, when I got crossfire, it was good, but it's totally, it's so different. Like, I have so much more confidence with DJI, and that's part of why I gave up that PV until, like, you know, it becomes more refined and just simpler for you know, simple users like me who. Yeah, I just don't understand some things and I'm okay with that. Alright, so I'll show you a few moves. And then, of course, there's proximity flying. Now, I'm going to bring it back because there's a metal fence right there and I don't want to risk... And I don't want to risk flying close. And, yeah, this Losing my signal right there. So I'm just gonna bring this baby down, go forward a tiny bit.
for proximity flying. I'm gonna come to myself. And I'm gonna show you how I will fly. The drone to myself. this and show you how I do proximity and I'm going to do the now you realize I might be in a TV mode. Oh, I have been in a TV mode. Alright, so Alright, so we're going to do some proximity. Just fly slowly and behind myself and not cut myself. Now I can show how I would orbit myself. Alright, so orbit myself. Okay. I have to make sure everything is flat. Okay. Hope it's a bit tight and I don't put it to normal. Try to hold a bit. Okay. And I'm gonna check it. So we're gonna do some proximity around these. So when I was learning how to fly FPV, this made my life so much easier. I just decided to fly around trees and navigate and then made things so much easier. And with FPV, you know, you can control everything, so it made it much harder, but I got to learn a bit more. You know, so. Remember, this is with the unblind DJ. I don't have to worry about stopping and crashing. I can just stop, take a break, turn around. Guys, follow my phone. That's it. If you want to get a sense of speed, you can fly looking down. It's probably going up. Looking up. And middle of the blue sky. So I've got 21% left. I'm just going to bring this bird back because.
Landing. And I just caught a bunch of grass. Alright, so that was my back practice flight. And that's all I can say is basically keep on practicing with your drone. And it's not going to be perfect, but Fly with the drone, get more practice in. Oh wow. You can see I just a propeller is broken and I have not seen. So when I was taking off I got an engine uh, motor failure and I guess I knew why. So the drone's off. And that wraps it up for this. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna show you how to change a prop while I'm at it. And then the next video you're going to see from me is me actually flying the drone around. If you've seen this area, I'm going to fly more around and just get more shots. This is just me talking about how you know, I come out and fly and I'm not some super professional drone pilot. I'm licensed, I understand all the rules, but I do not know the terms of videos and all those things. So my professionalism is basically me understanding airspace, where to fly my drone, all that security and everything precautions. But when it comes to video, I don't know anything, and I'm pretty sure all of us are just learning. You know, stick it in there, get that footage, practice, take, get more footage, practice, and we'll, you know, I'll get there. All right, so enjoy the video. Oh, and if you did like this, um, I'd love it if you'd like it, you know, subscribe, you can share, whatever you can do to support the channel so I can go there. Thanks.